Earlier, Dick Pryor talked to eCapital News Director Sean Ashley about other stories making news at the Capitol. Sean, the Senate Appropriation Committee passed a bill that would provide more money for education. How would it work? Well, what this bill does is that currently there's a nearly $60 million each year additional that goes to the Department of Transportation for our state's roads and highways. This bill would essentially cut that money in half and dedicate part of it each year to education and part of it continuing to the Department of Transportation until the Department of Transportation begins to receive annually about $575 million. Currently, they're receiving a bit over $300 million, so there's several more years for them to go. And then until the State Department of Education would be receiving $600 million uh, each year to, to fund common education in the state. And that's HB 2642, and it's causing a bit of a stir. Th that's exactly correct. There are proponents and opponents of the bill. Uh, the bill was mentioned during the education rally earlier this week, and a lot of those in the education community support it. On the other side of the fence, of course, you have those in transportation who are somewhat concerned to see their growth revenue being reduced over the years to come. Uh, there are also some legislators, such as Senator Clark Jolly, the chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee, who expressed a concern about continuing a process where you remove a large amount of money from the control of legislators each year. In fact, Governor Fallon uh, and her budget advisor, Preston Dorflinger, have spoken out against the idea of having money set aside each year that doesn't go through the legislative process and doesn't go through the review of the executive branch before it ends up in the hands of state agencies. Governor Fallon has signed her first bills of the session. That's right. On Wednesday, the governor signed four pieces of legislation, one of those being the Compete with Canada Film Act, uh, which provides uh, tax incentives to uh, film companies working in the state of Oklahoma, and in particular for those that hire Oklahomans in various technical positions to work on those films. An aerospace tax credit bill is headed to the governor. That's right. On Thursday, the Senate, the Senate passed uh, the aerospace tax credit bill, which provides incentives to both companies to hire Oklahoma graduates who are engineers, as well as to engineers themselves to remain in the state and to work for these companies. It has a less than $1 million impact each year, uh, but there are approximately 350 engineers who have been involved in the program and 12 different companies, and it's credited with helping grow the aerospace industry in the state. What should we be watching for next week? This next week will be rather busy in some respects because it is the committee deadline week. Therefore, those bills that uh, lawmakers are trying to get through at the last minute through committees uh, will have to be heard, and then after that, we move back to the floor. Sean Ashley, News Director from eCapital, thank you. You're very welcome.